Hello everybody, welcome back to Building a House from Trees. Uh, this week's episode, I backfill the trench with the conduit. Um, you see I get to use a sweet four-wheel drive John Deere. Thank you, Jeff and Colleen, I really appreciate it. While the big blue ox was down, resting. Um, I got that back rolling. Uh, you'll see that next week. I got a lot of stuff going on, so I got a lot of footage and feels good to be a week ahead in the videos. It's pretty unusual for me, so um, that's that's great. Uh, but yeah, it was a big week this week, this week that you're gonna see on the video, getting everything buried, backfilled, getting that red line in there that lets everybody know there's hot electrical wire. And then Scott from Cafe Nomad, Norway, Maine, check it out. Scott came out and helped me uh, facilitate the pull of the 300 plus feet of 350 MCM, hundreds of pounds of wire. And we used an elaborate pulley system. Um, it worked really, really well. Where's Jeff now? Hey Jeff. Maybe a little long. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next week. Again, thank you. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Spread the word if you like watching what you see. All right, thank you. I am man of constant borrow. Thank you, Jeff. Well, that worked shockingly well. Holy crap. It's basically built an enormous vacuum. That was unbelievable. It is. It worked incredibly well. I guess I should do it with this uh, other conduit as well. This works 
Look at that madness. <laughs> that's crazy. I guess that's how it works. Pretty neat. A little broken tractor. This is going quite well. I hope the wire pulls this easily. I bet it will. At least we're going downhill. So we're pulling the rope through that conduit. This pulley is going to be anchored off. Thank you, Steve. And then we're gonna connect to the tractor and then pull a little bits at a time. Smarter, not harder. We'll see how this works. Can you pull? Yes, okay, I'm gonna go. Wait, by hand or with the tractor? By hand, just for like another foot if you can. Okay. All right, tractor. Okay, I'm gonna go slow. How's that? What? Yep. Good! So, you might be asking yourself, why oh why did he just cut off that seven foot piece of conduit and slide it away? Well, uh, when you buy, here's a little pro tip from a complete amateur at 
building a house from trees. Uh, when you buy um, underground wire, or any wire really, when you're wiring your house, buy way more than you'd expect. I, uh, I pulled the wire the other day with my help of my friend Scott, which obviously you're seeing in the video here. Uh, I was five feet short. That's a bummer. And until I realized I could just buy a 15 foot section of 350 MCM and three little splice kits, uh, which I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, I was kind of panicked. I thought I was going to have to pull this out again. And anyway, overestimate. <laughs> Moving forward, I'm going to overestimate. It's not that big of a deal. It's a hundred dollar fix, kind of a little bit time consuming, but maybe, you know, an extra couple hours of work. Nothing, nothing too bad, but I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice the, uh, the 15 feet onto this end and then go up to that end and with the tractor pull 15 feet that and then I'll have plenty of extra up at the pole for the power company to connect up to the transformer. So anyway, buses blunders. One of these days I'll do a, uh, a whole reel of those. Probably isn't enough space on the internet for them. Bueno.